climb cart is the six-wheeled cart that can climb upstairs. How does it really work? Let's find out in today's review of climb cart. All right, here is Climb Cart. This is the stair climbing cart by Bulbhead. I picked it up from Bed Bath & Beyond for 40 bucks. So I'm gonna crack it open and see what's inside. Whoa. Remove for use. Good thing I removed it. So push this down. And then you let go. It locks on there. Alright, cool. Now we fold this down. Fold up the handle. It just locks it in place. Alright. That was pretty simple. This is the optional carry bag. That's, that's all you do for that one. That's pretty simple. All right, so this is it, set up, took a couple minutes. Now we're gonna go put it right to the test by going up and down the flight of stairs with something heavy in it. The way climb cart works is it rolls along the ground, but when it hits a stair, this one rotates up and then it climbs up over the stairs and continues to roll. The cart isn't particularly large. It looks a little bit larger in the advertising than it seems to me in person. It can hold up to 75 pounds, although the original advertising said 100 pounds, now it says 75 pounds. For my first test, I took it to a park, I went up and down some stairs, I went across some grass, and here's what happened. All right, so we've got the climb cart here at a park. I'm gonna measure the climb cart and see how much it weighs. With this luggage scale, I show it at three pounds. Now I'm gonna take this 32 pack of water and put it on there, see how much it weighs together, and then we're gonna walk across the grass, up, up and down the stairs, and test it out. First thing I notice is it hangs over there. I almost have to put it on the side. It doesn't have a real wide base. It's okay on the side though. They do include this bungee cord, so I'm gonna see if I can bungee it on there. All right, that works pretty good. Now let's take this luggage scale, see how much it all weighs together. It's supposed to go up to 75 pounds. Oh, sh Okay. What does the scale show? So the 32 pack of water is over 30 pounds. According to the box, it's supposed to hold up to 75 pounds. It should have no problem with 30 pounds. Start walking. All right, here's our first obstacle. Ooh, it says it's all terrain. So let's see if we can go through the grass and then up that flight of steps over there. Okay, here we go. I was worried the park would be too quiet to do this. Here we go. I'm not going to say there's no effort, but it's probably easier. Let's go back down now. Well, I'm a little worried about that. I have to keep it. I have to kind of keep it tilted back or it's going to fall over. Ugh. All right.
Oh, guess you can't go at an angle. Okay. Folding it just takes two steps. You unlock this, fold the handle down, pull that up, it's ready to go. The first six-wheeled cart like this that I'm aware of was called Upcart, which first appeared on Kickstarter back in 2014. Not long after that, the ASEAN TV marketers came out with similar versions. You had Easy Climber, Dolly Do It, and Climb Cart. Right, I'm back home from the park. I'm going to take my water in the house using my climb cart. I've only got one small step to overcome, so let's see how that goes. All right, we've got the climb cart back there. One of the advertising claims is that climb cart can help you carry groceries up and down the stairs. So I went to the grocery store, got some groceries, and brought them home and put them in climb cart to see how many the climb cart would hold. All right, just hit the grocery store, got some groceries are going home. What I'm going to do then is use the climb cart to carry my groceries in and see how much that pouch actually holds because the commercial shows people bringing groceries in the house with a climb cart and I have no doubt that it'll go over the step easily like it did before but how much will it actually hold is going to be uh, good to know because that'll let you know how useful it really is in that situation. If it only holds a couple groceries you might end up making a bunch of trips. So. Let's go home and try the climb cart with the groceries. So to me, that actually held a surprisingly decent amount. So this is how much I fit in the bag for one trip of the climb cart, and I think that's actually pretty good. We had some heavier things like milk, and we had a two liter bottle of soda. So I'm pretty happy with how much it carried in one trip. After the groceries, I did the same thing with a load of laundry to see how much the climb cart would hold of that. Next up, I want to see how much laundry the climb cart can hold, so let's try that out. Again, keeping in mind I don't have stairs in my house going to the laundry area, but some people do. So I'm going to imagine I'm going upstairs right now. It held a pretty good amount. I'm not sure if it's as much as my normal laundry basket, but it was pretty close. So let's take a look and see how much it held. Not quite a full load of clothes, but pretty close. So in the end, I like Climb Cart. I think that some of the advertising claims may be a bit idealized because there is some effort going up and down the stairs. It is easier than carrying it or using an old school dolly, but there is some effort. I think going downstairs is a little bit more awkward than going upstairs. But I think most people who buy it will be happy with their purchase. I'll keep using Climb Cart and I'll give you an update in a couple of months to let you know how it's going. If you have any suggestions how I can further test it out, let me know and I'll try to put it to the test for my next update. If you use Climb Cart, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, The Freakin' Reviews.